Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create pixel art and 3D models in Minecraft. If you're just interested in pixel art, uh, you can just fast forward to minute 420 and this is where I'm going to be talking about that. I want to start with putting a nice ice house into this ice cold world that we see here. So I'm going to cropdicator.com. That basically gives me two options. One is converting a Minecraft object into a Lego build plan. And the second one, which we want to go for here, is convert a 3D model into a Minecraft world. Craftlicator takes a whole bunch of different 3D model formats. On my machine, I have a color model that is the $1 billion concert hall in Hamburg called the Elbphilharmonie. It consists of multiple files and have a quick look on how that looks. You see it's a color model and uh, I don't really want to have it that way. I really want to make it an ice house but how I'm going to get there I'm going to show you in just a second. Select all the files that belong to that model, upload them and then I choose the world that I want to put this model into. So this is an ice world here located at the typical roaming Minecraft saves folder and I'm selecting that and basically say upload and that gets me into step number two. So I'm getting a top-down view on the world, the ice world that we saw in the beginning and I have an option to place the model anywhere on that map. I can size it by dragging at the borders. I can also use some of the button to zoom in or to move around and I can also define what rotation or what orientation I want to have on that model. If I want to place it on the side or if I want to place it in a normal way. So that's what I'm doing here right now and then I'm choosing a block collection. Here I'm, ch I'm selecting a transparent selection which is an ice selection because I really wanted to look like icy in that ice cold world. Putting in my email address, agreeing to the terms of use and hitting submit. After a couple of moments, there should be an email containing the MCA regions of the Minecraft model. The MCA regions are the f files containing the structures of my Minecraft world. In this case, I have not selected a free model. It's a chartable model, so I had to supply a gift card or a coupon code. And then I'm getting the final model right now in my inbox. I'm getting it now and then I download the zip file that contains the region files that I need to then open, it's in a zip file, and then copy over to the regions folder of my Minecraft world that I had initially selected. In this case it was the ice world clean. So I'm putting it right in the region folder and I'm replacing the files that have been in there previously. So the only thing that's left is start up Minecraft and have a look how it looks. So again I'm selecting my ice world, I'm opening it up and there I have my one billion dollar concert house right at the North Pole in an icy fashion made out of ice blocks. And if you don't believe me that these are ice blocks that I have selected, I can just move in there and see if I can just kick out two of those and jump in and see how it looks from the inside. So that's pretty much how you import a 3D model into any Minecraft world. So that gets me to my minute 420 and how to create pixel art in Minecraft. It's actually very similar to what we just saw the only difference is that instead of selecting a 3D model, we are selecting an image file or a picture. So we're going to Crop Decatur. Again, we are selecting option number two, the 3D model to Minecraft. But instead of selecting a 3D model, we are selecting a picture. So in this case we're taking Mona Lisa, we're opening that 
and then we select the world that we want to put this pixel art into. So again, the same location for all the worlds. So I'm picking a world called Gallery Clean and I'm uploading the file and I enter the step number two. Again, it shows me a top-down view of the world that I'm about to put my pixel art into and I now have the option of selecting the size of the pixel art that I want to see in my world. In addition to that, I can also select whether I want to have my pixel art standing up or laying flat on the ground. In this case, I want to make it stand up and I want to have it in the middle of that island. So I can now select the block set. And again, this time I'm not using transparent, I'm using a default primary colors. Actually, I'm using default, which is uh, the broadest set of blocks that I can use in Minecraft. Say processing and then just provide the email address where I want my region files to be sent. I'm hitting submit and a couple of moments later I should see an email in my inbox telling me that my region files are here. So I can download them and I'm getting a zip file that I can then download and open and once I open them these are containing or the zip file contains all the region files that I need to replace in my original world to see the pixel art that has been inserted into that world. So I'm saving it into the regions folder make sure you make a copy of yours first and then I paste it in replacing the original one and then I'm going into the Minecraft world I open it up and as you can see I'm in my world and at the end of the horizon there's my Mona Lisa building up beautifully and this is the pixel art that I have just created based on the picture or the image that I had in my folder. Well you can leave it at that or you can go wild and do this multiple times to end up with a fantastic gallery of all famous paintings at sunset. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, if you want to see more Brick and Minecraft Mania visit us at expedicator.info and I'm looking forward to seeing you there and you have a great day.